I was going to say to you actually, how far is it? No, it's quite a long way. Is it? Yeah, it's quite a long way. Is it a long way to Tipperary? Well, we're only halfway at the moment. It's halfway <laughs> to Tipperary. Halfway to go. <laughs> Look at that. It's just incredible. Big of a beast, isn't it? I left my camera home. Uh, yeah, 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 so don't want to bring it in tonight. Crack on. <laughs> Well, good morning everyone. We're in the Funky Farmer kitchen. It is quarter past six. I'm just cooking my breakfast and we are about, well, say we, me and Ian, are about to go to um, the ploughing. So we're heading off uh, our flights this morning. Mm. Uh, 10 o'clock I think, it's not too bad a time for a flight, but by the time you do all the hoo-ha of checking in and getting there we're going to be leaving quite early, so I'm due to be picked up at 7 so I'm just having just having a snack to get me going got me funky farmer mug there got my bags packed the only thing I'm worried about is the packing of the bags because Ryanair are quite strict on their hand luggage we're only taking hand luggage so uh, hope that'll be all right and also the weather wow I've seen some pictures people have sent me of the ploughing gee I'm gonna need a jet ski to get around anyway I've got I've got wellies there we've already arranged that um, taking the coat obviously uh, I did see some brilliant video of people some young lads turning up in like these really expensive trainers that were like white or pink or something and just like trashed it it's like have you never been to the countryside before? Do you not look at the weather forecast before you go out? Anyway, too cool for school. Right, let's crack on. I'm gonna have my breakfast in a minute. Oh, bacon. That's the way to start a travel, isn't it? A bit of bacon. Right, we'll see you in a bit. He's here. Your bag. He's here, Father yeah, P's in the building. Yeah. Did you pack his bag? <laughs> I did. I no, bet. It's yeah, like your it? No, you just happened to be there. And then, yeah. no, don't no, no, pack no. it like that. No, pack no, it no. like this. He was gonna put, wear a shirt yeah. that he hadn't even tried on. Oh, well, I've got stuff I'm not sure about. What is new? I've overpacked the pants, I've got two pairs. Two pairs. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's right. Well, exactly. <laughs> right, we better hit the road. Yeah. All right, Haz. See you later. High five, mate. Oh, well, I'll t oh, look. Talking about stuff that's new, it's not even taking the labels off. I don't walk around like a one. Right, we're heading out. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. That was it. What was it called, Arakanu? Arakanu Lee. Lee? Hurricane Lee. Hurricane Lee. At least we're not going over on a boat. Oh, <laughs> It'd be like that. Uh, it's gonna be like that on the plane. Oh, I've not had any breakfast, so. Oh, I had a bacon sandwich, I'll be alright. I want a bacon sandwich, you'd never any bacon. Oh. <laughs> we have arrived. That is Bristol Airport. Bristol Airport. On as <coughs> I made it through security. <laughs> Ian's been stopped. He's been frisked. He let off the alarms at the uh, detector thing. And also, his bag's been stopped and uh, they've been going through the hat. Right, we got through security. Ian's got through security. Well, we, we both of us got a little How bit of How was your late. cavity search? I was swabbed. <laughs> he was swabbed. <laughs> Not me personally, the, the yeah. bag with the bag was yeah, swabbed. So, yeah, he was. He looks dodgy, doesn't he? So we're. we're Kettle at teapot. <laughs> What could possibly go wrong on this trip? Uh, Don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're at Bristol Airport, we're about to take off, aren't we? Well, yeah, half yeah, an hour. Half an hour, yeah. we had a coffee, no beers yet. No. Um, we're going to be alright on this trip? Yeah. We're going to be alright on this trip. Yeah. Right. It's we're an adventure. Yeah, it is an adventure, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, right, we'll see you the other side. Crack on. Quick that was. 
half an hour it's like flipping out it's like oh it's longer than that yeah, took off and landed it's rear. on here 30 seconds hey we've arrived Ian's ready to get searched again in strip search. He likes it actually. It was quite nice. He had yeah. stuff done. Yeah. <laughs> so we've arrived at Dublin. We got to now go and find our hire car and see what we got. I don't think we got the sausage wagon or the pussy wagon or whatever. We have got. I think we got the plucked chicken wagon. Haven't we? we a stretch limo would be nice, wouldn't it? But I don't think they, that was in our budget. So we're going to go and find our hire car. Check in. Uh, looks very nice. Here we go. Ooh, clean, cleanliness is here. Right, let's go and find the hire car. Oh, this is all wobbly. It's really hard to, to move around here with bags and stuff. We're glad when we ditch these. Right, me and Ian, we're off, to hunt, we're off to hunt a car now. We're going to the area D. 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 No, D. Oh. Over there. D for dunces. We're heading off. To, we got a Vauxhall, apparently, a black Vauxhall. Uh, I don't even know what a Vauxhall is. It's not a Vauxhall, is it? It's an Opal. And uh, I've got to find the number. I think it says on the key, key fob. One, two, something or other. Let me just... Uh, hang on. Let's have a look on here. D129. 129. It's up there. Ooh. Which is ours. We're off to find the car. 129. Silver. He said it's black. Oh, it looked too bad. We'll have a look at it in a minute. Oh, it's a bit blowy. That's all right, the price is big. Looks like your phone ringing now. That's the police catching up on you. All right, I'm gonna, he's going to on the phone. I'm going to have a look. Look at this size of this thing. I don't want a little Tesla though. Quite nice, isn't it? Looks all right. Let's have a look around. So this is our hire car for a few days. Ecotech diesel. And there's another Ryanair going off. Off it goes. Woo! All right. right. What do you reckon? The scratch on there. Have you found a scratch? I found a scratch. Where? There. Oh, yes. Better get a photo of that. Yeah. Because we're liable, this is what worries me about a hire car, we're liable for everything, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, well, you are. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> You're the oh, one you, I'm the fool who put yeah. my credit card to this. <laughs> so when you drive it into the back of a bus, your phone doesn't That's stop. Nick. Is it? Hello, Nick. Hello, darling. Yeah. Right, I'm going to keep looking. Oh, that is another. Yeah, it was actually, it was really quick. We Stone were chip there. Ahead of schedule. Yeah. That's two. It was pretty good. Oh, look at that. So this is the whole problem with uh, hire cars, is you've got to check round them to make sure they've got no damage, or what damage they've got, because we're going to be liable for this. Uh, right, anyway, I'm going to put this down, he's on the phone, we're going to load up, and then we'll be heading off. We're going off to Tipperary. I'm not sure how far it is, but I reckon it's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. We have fired up the Quattro. Starting route to Abbey Machinery. You can ask Siri to report any crashes or hazards you see along the way. Oh, that's the the story. Well, I don't normally use this phone for we're, a sat nav. So yeah. Uh, yeah, to make so, me jump. So we're off to the Abbey factory now. Yes. And uh, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, well, we've got... How long uh, is it going to take? 98 miles. 98 miles to go. What's that thing in the Blues Brothers? Where is it? We've got... Um, I can't remember. They, they sit in a car and they go... A packet it's, of fags or three beers or whatever. Got, got, uh, it's dark, we're wearing sunglasses. Yeah. It's 190 miles to Chicago. So, Hit it. So we're, it, it's not dark, we're not wearing sunglasses, we haven't got any fags. <laughs> <laughs> it's 98 miles to the Abbey factory. Hit it. Hit it. Yeah. Hit it, baby. It's not quite the blue. Engine, engine works. Not quite the blue. Engine, engine works. works. That's yeah. the main well, thing. Turn right. the camera off. I'm driving. We're so off. I'm you, turning you this can off. You go in charge of I, them. I'm just. Well, well, I'll do a little bit of video later. I'm turning this off. We, we'll see you in a bit. Right. Crack on. Crack on. My knacker! <laughs> right. Halfway to Tipperary now. Just it's it's quite a long way to Tipperary. You know? I, I was going to say to you actually, how far is it? To no, Tipperary? it's quite a long way. Is it? Yeah, it's quite a long way. Is it a long way to Tipperary? Well, we're only halfway at the moment. It's halfway, halfway to, to Tipperary. Tipperary. Halfway to <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> we just been by a sign that said National Plowing, 
uh, back there. Yeah. And we're going. It's a look. We're just saying, right? This how is, good the road is. What a lovely road it is. Yeah. How good and the road And do you know what? The other thing is, well, how clean it all is. No rubbish or one bottle occasionally. Yeah. Also. But compared with UK, uh, it's not a motorway. It's a dual carriage way, really. Isn't it? Dual carriage. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's all clean. This is nice. Nice. Look, I've just shown you the road. Very quiet. Look at that. This is the sort of road to, a pleasure to drive on. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look up the population of Ireland. I think it's considerably lower than the UK, which probably helps with the congestion. On our roads at home, they're awful. This is really nice. A blue sky. We've I, got things right I, so I far. So, I so wanted to say something. What? I so wanted to say something. There's a lot. There's a lot of things we say, <laughs> which we say we bet. Can't good say that. Can't say that can't on say YouTube. That. No, we can't say that. Do you know what? It'd be lovely if there was two versions of this video, wouldn't there? <laughs> there's the version for YouTube, and then there's a version that. We we got, yeah, we can. No, yeah, yeah. 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 The stuff off camera is probably funnier, actually. Isn't it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway, we're halfway to Tipperary. Halfway to go. Yeah. Right. See you in a bit. <laughs> oh, toll roads. This is like going on the old Seven Bridge, isn't it? Yeah. Having to pay a toll. We're not used to toll roads in the UK, isn't no. it? And there's there's one. Is it by Sheffield or Birmingham somewhere? I didn't I've see how got, much it was. I've got to change gear and everything. Three, three, three euros eighty. Three euros yeah. eighty to get through the tolls. Yeah. Pay up. Pay up. Tap tap tap. It's a lot of blanks. Just it? tap it on there. Tap it and unwrap it. It's not a chocolate orange, is it? Okay. So. We're off. Good to go. And we got that far left. 34 miles. 34 miles yeah. to Tipperary. I'm not gonna. No, that's not Tipperary, that's oh, Abbey. Not. Long, it's a short way to <laughs> Abbey. I'm not singing anymore. Yeah. Everyone knows what a good singer I am on my videos. Yeah, there's a reason for that. They all know, I, I can't believe I've got a record deal here. Uh, it's a very strange thing that no one has signed up the Funky Farmer for an LP. LP that takes me, think isn't it? Most of the producers want to earn money. Yes. Yeah. Oh, surely there's a there's a market for an out. Oh yeah, definitely. Market. Out of tune singing farmer. Okay. Well, the Wurzels have managed it for you. <laughs> there are you. I love the Wurzels. They are gods. <laughs> gods of the West Country. Who's the gods of the Welsh singing community? What's that? Johnny Logan, isn't it? Oh, uh, um, yeah. else? And, and uh, can we name any more? Yeah, what's his bloody name? The I don't uh, know. I don't know. All sexy trousers. Oh, se sexy trousers. Oh, what's his flipping name? I don't know. Sexy trousers. Can you give me more of a clue? He's, he's was... managed by his son. Get on now. Probably getting onto his seventies. Four years old, back Tom Jones. Yes, man. Oh, he's Welsh. Oh, what did I say? Irish. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Oh my God. So, well, Welsh. Oh, I got confused. <laughs> I was too Come on, now, well, wait, you too. You got Bono. Bono? Bono. 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 Bono from uh, Ireland. Come on, let's think of some more Irish bands. Oh, the, the, the Cause. Is it the Cause? Yeah. What? They're quite new sisters, aren't they? Uh, and who was it? They're quite um, fit. Uh, Come on, some more Irish singers. Quite hardcore. What were they? Um, Sinead O'Connor, obviously. Sinead, yeah, 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 yeah. Pogues. Pogues? Oh, I love Pogues. Um, mm. Mm. Sounds not really musically talented, Sounds like Someone's shouting at the screen now, telling us we're idiots because we don't know any Irish singers. Yeah, I don't know many. Oh, Wimpin Lizzy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, y
29 minutes to Abbey. Yeah. Back on the music, I forgot to mention, we got sent a Spotify playlist. Look at this, can you see that? Someone, Mel, Mel's wife, sorted out a Spotify playlist and it's got various mix on it and has got some other Irish singers. It's got the Dubliners on here. Uh, who else we got? I'm not sure which ones of these are Scott Irish actually. Bagatelle, never heard of them before. Mundy Galway girl that is. Joe Dolan, I think he's Joe Dolan. Have you heard of him? No. I think he's Irish. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look. Mo Mullen. Mo <laughs> don't think she's got a singing career. No, I don't think so. No. Uh, Paddy Casey. I'm gonna play these, but I can't play them on YouTube because of the copyright issues. But we're gonna have a little sing along to some of these later. Well, I'd be singing because Ian loves my singing. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be cringing. Which one do you want me to sing? Like the Hole of the Moon by the Water Boys. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the whole. Good, you yeah. saw the whole of the. Have your ears put drums split? Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. there you go. So we have our. I'm bleeding from the ear. Yeah. <laughs> we have a playlist. Look, it's pretty good actually. Fair play. Thank you for sorting this out. We'll have a look at that later. I've just seen an inflatable tractor and we're also at the Barack Obama Plaza. Look at that. Oh, Superman's is that a case? through. Do you want to go drive through? Oh, or I don't do mind. Stop? Give me a stop, shall we? Yeah, stop. The old men need to sit down. <laughs> Look at that. That's oh, a bouncy castle. Like a track. I'm more excited about the Barack Obama. Oh, I'm going that way. Oh, Barack right. Obama it service station. Last. Yeah, all right. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. How about that? Barack Obama. Do you think he's been there? I think it's possible he might have been. Why would you sort of call a service station after Barack Obama? There's no, there's a song out there, isn't it? There? There's nothing more Irish than Barack Obama because he came to Ireland a while ago. I think there is some connection there. It was his uh, grandmother's dog, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. Right. And everyone's all the Irish president, all the presidents got a connection with, with America, wasn't it? Who was it that came over lately? Oh, Biden. Biden. He's, he yeah. has some Irish connection, yeah. isn't he? I don't think he's very fond of the Brits, is he, Biden? I don't know. Yeah. There's a sheep thingy over there. A sheep thingy? A sheep transport. Oh, right. Right, we're going to park up and have yeah. something. We can find some of the I'm not going to film in the service station. You don't want to see a no. service station. What's that over there? We're parking. Can you park there? A little barrow, a little barrow. Turn right. Oh, we messed this up. Well, they're all ignoring it, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, well, they serve. Uh, there you go. I do. Right. Yeah, We're going to go in the Barack Obama right. service station. We'll see you in a bit. Well, Ian's gone for a quick wee. I'm um, just looking around the service station. I have to say, it, uh, there he has. He must have been here. Look at him. Barack Obama. But this is actually a really nice service station. Quick look round. they got a lot of lovely stuff here. Look at this. Look at the ice cream. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? But also, they have a proper carvery going on which looks so much better than anything I've seen in the UK. It's over there. So, I have to say, pretty impressive really, the Barack Obama service station. Right, let's go get up, Here we go, so we are approaching Abbey, the Abbey factory. In one mile, one the mile. destination is on your right. See, so told Abbey you. Right, one mile. Abbey machinery on the right. Yeah, got me right because my phone said so. Good. Yeah. Looks good. It's a service centre there, you can go and get yourself serviced. <laughs> it's a Tipperary Inn. Tipperary Inn. Inn. They got a good name there. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, is Abbey. Abbey Machinery since 1947. Yeah. CCTV cameras in operation. Ah, filming. Sure oh, look at that. Yourself. In a quarter of a Ooh, mile, shiny. Turn right onto Main Street. Well, we're already there, we know where it is. It's a nice new kit, isn't yeah. it? Look at that. Shiny. Shiny, we like yeah. shiny. I've only looked at this on Google Maps. I haven't even done that. Have you? Ooh. If Harry was here, he'd be earmarking one to take home. Yeah. Not, I don't think we've got a tow bar here. No. <laughs> uh, wow, I never thought turns. I'd end up at the Abbey factory. This is quite a thing, really, isn't it? Quite a privilege to be able to come here really. I don't know quite what we're gonna see. You might know better than I do here. I have no idea. Apparently it's quite um, modern and mechanized. Do they it? actually make it all here then? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I think it's all fabricated here, so. Nice. Right, yeah. we'll go and meet someone and have a look. Just heading in, look. Into Abbey machinery. I can just look at the shine. Look at the... Every time I see machinery like this on farm, normally it's absolutely filthy. This is all really lovely, big shiny kit. Hey, Look at that. Big shiny kit. Big shiny kit. Big that, one, mate. that one, that one do you. Do that, that one, that's a nice size, isn't it? We have got an Abbey uh, tanker at home, but it's a very old one. Feeder wagon, right. 
I'm going to turn this off a minute. We're just going to find someone and have a chat. We are here. We're, we're up in the office now. I've sneaked up here. We have a coffee and we're just looking around, looking out the window. Look at that lineup. So lovely. And the maze behind. You can sit here in the office and watch the maize being harvested, can't you? I bet that's a nice little. I love is. watching the maize being harvested. We are we are going to have a chat in a minute. I'm just uh, I'm just admiring the shiny. Everything shiny, 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 shiny. Yeah. yeah. I, I just don't see new machinery that often close up. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm excited. It's a nice range. Is that like? I'm mean, sorry, we haven't really I haven't really chatted too much. Is that the range out there? Is that like your range that you do regularly? Oh, no, there's a little more than that. Oh, no, I don't know here. how much. We have our machines for the total cows. We have sorry tankers, giant yeah. feeders, toppers, grassland, muck spreaders across the board. I'm yeah. a, sorry, I'm really, really rude here. So, what's your name? I'm Kate. I cover marketing Kate, here for Abbey Machinery. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm interested. So, I noticed it was established in 1947, Abbey. Do you know? Is it a family business or was it a family business? Yes, Abby remains a Kavanaugh, uh, family business. Does it? The Kavanaugh family wow. uh, are still here and uh, managing the business, yeah. uh, but we've grown to over 120 employees globally wow. now. Wow, that's a real. I mean, you must be a big employer in this area. We absolutely are. Yeah. You know, you help the economy of Ireland really well with this. And Brilliant. all of our production here um, in Nina took Right, work. and here's Nick. Nick, sorry, I, yeah. uh, I started filming, but even before we've eaten the scones. No, no, you took me. Nick, what do you do here? Uh, so I'm the uh, area sales manager, manager for Safe for the UK. Right. So covering sales, obviously, Class Western, Green yeah. Jones, Small Bridges, all down there. So yeah, really looking after the, the guys doing that. Fair play. So yeah. Ian's going to eat all those scones. No, I, 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 I <laughs> <laughs> well, you've had all you had at lunch. And we're going to have a look around the Abbey factory in a minute. All right, we're gonna, yeah, you're going to do a presentation for us before we go, aren't you? Yeah. I'm going to have a coffee. <laughs> and I'm going to turn this off. I keep saying I'm going to turn this off because you have to chat without a camera on, don't you? Knew you were coming, didn't they? Look at that. They got your colour sorted, like haven't they? Shame, Put it you? on. <laughs> Give us a twirl, Anthea. Oh, mate. Oh, right, okay. oh, these are the shoes. Oh, crikey, I'm glad we haven't got to borrow those. Yeah. We both got steel toe cap boots on. These are steel. Yeah. We're just having to wear these all the time. Right, let me just dress myself up. Can't hear a thing now. Oh, it is noisy. Right, we've seen the presentation. I skipped that bit. It's on Ian's video if you want to watch it. Uh, they make 90 different machines, I think, here. Uh, wow, look at this. This is, this is where I love the smell. The smell of steel. I can't actually Oh, we've got to put my glass. Look at that. Look. So straight away, we've got, I'm assuming, a tanker there, mate. Look at the guy. Wow. It's piece of steel. I, I used to I used to absolutely love metalwork at school, so for me this is like, uh, I love the smell of the steel and uh, you know my welding is awful but I do, I would love to do fabrication if I could. Um, and it's just the big piece of steel, so as you, as you might be aware they make, sl Abby makes slurry tankers and they make um, feeders and they all sorts of other machinery. You have to go on their website to have a look. Um, but, uh, we're here basically from the beginning where the raw material is. I think we're going to go to the end and work our way back. Uh, we've seen a little bit. Just the seats of steel. And I, I just love the process. I just love the process of creation. You start with the raw materials and you work your way to the shiny products we saw at the front. Right, let's go and have a look at what we're doing today. Okay. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Your, what's your name again? Don and Lauren. Right. See the accent, your accent. Where is it from? Uh, Tipperary. Right. Oh, I love to see a local lad then. I am. So I'm going to. So you're going to give us a tour, are you? I, take I am. Yeah. Oh, First, I'll take you through our 100,000 square foot building here, which is the, the main fabrication yeah. hall, and then we built on an extension of 10,000 square foot premises wow. uh, last year, which is our new final assembly hall. So. I let me ask you a question then. Is this the sort of this is the start, if you like? And do you yeah. work your way through the factory making them? Yeah. So basically, all the raw material comes right. in this store. Yeah. So you see here is our sheet. The sheet uh, steel, yeah. Plate, which feeds into our laser and plasma, and I'll take you through those in a few right. minutes. And as it makes its way through the plant, then it gets formed into all the processes that we have, and uh, we get the other side with finished product. Uh, I, I actually love. 
love that, the fact you're not just an assembly line, you're actually styling it from the raw materials, which is yeah. a really nice process to see through, isn't it? Oh, it is, yeah. Well, we've a lot of different processes, so, like, when we enter here, it's into our machine shop, so that's where all the, the, the raw plate material is broken down and processed, either through plasma cutting, laser cutting, rolling, folding, and, and all the other processes. And then it moves into our fabrication line, and then into our blast and paint facility, and then out into the far side to our assembly halls. Yeah. So we have two, two, two assembly halls at the moment, one for uh, applicators and then another one for all our wheel machines. So do the, the guys who work here, do they all have a specific task or do they move around the factory doing different things? Well, I suppose we have three or four main main areas. So we have our machine shop, yeah. and then we have our fabrication area, and then we have our pre-paint uh, prep area, and then we have our fine, uh, paint area and final assembly. So if you take any of those areas individually, the guys can move around within those right, areas. Okay. But, um, so, and then, so in their you know, specialist fit, fear they yeah. sort of stay, right? And so in some cases, we cross train from one area mm. to another, mm. but we, we try to focus on keeping the guys in right. different areas. Okay, thank you. Right. Welder's welder, not Yeah. I can see the welder going down there now. Right, lead on. This is our <laughs> this is our eight kilowatt fiber right. laser. It's a Trump laser. We installed it last year. And the uh, laser cutter. I mean, la yeah, how, fiber how hot laser. is that going to get to cut through steel? That's an amazing thing. Yeah, it's like well, coming out of James Bond. <laughs> well, this this cuts. Um, I suppose this does our, our fine cutting. Right. So any precision, uh, yeah. very precise parts are, are on cut there. on this machine, and it gives a cleaner edge and, 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 a, and a cleaner quality. Right. Um, and it cuts mainly, I suppose, our lower thickness of material, but it does cut from a range of, of three millimeter sheet plate up to twenty millimeter so sheet plate. So is that the sheet where it's been cut out of? So you cut the bits. Yeah. Out. So that's the raw sheet. This is the raw sheet. And here. you have a. a and then it's loaded into a car. Right. Here. Okay. And the whole system is an auto load and unload. So the programs are inputted through the computer yeah. software over here. And um, the, the sheets are transferred automatically over onto the cutting bed. It'll feed in. And you can actually see the video of the laser. Oh, there's someone. Is that actually there live up there now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so, but that's the, uh, so this is what you've cut out. So this, so this is, is like so this is a piece. brilliant example. This is the strap. This is the skeleton yeah. where all the, the parts are put out. Right, and that's the. So what you've got here, this is what you've done. You instantly created. Parts so, of your machine. Wow. Yeah. So this Amazing. is um, this is one of the finished plates. So you can see here that all the holes, yeah. the holes are very neatly and precise, and they have a high tolerance. Um, and that comes from the, the plasma or the laser cutter. So what if you before laser cutting? Then how would that have been cut out by hand or a grinder? No, or? no. I suppose it would have been cut out on. Um, CO2 laser machine. So this is a fiber laser right. machine. It's oh. the latest technology right. in, in, in its machinery. So going back to 1947, when there was no laser cutting, how would they have cut that out then? It would have been a real handcrafted thing, would it? Yeah, well, there's lots of different forms right. of cutting. They might have yeah. had nibblers or right. different things for... for but I mean, laser you know, cutting, that's But phenomenal. it would have been a lot slower. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it helps your productivity. No, I, I suppose. And the, and the beauty about this machine is we can load up to four or five ton of material and we can pre-program it and it can run right. when there's no one here on the premises. Wow. So, it's so you can have that all made overnight? Yeah, like here, this, this would have um, been loaded up this morning right. and it would have run all... all oh, I see, it's still in the... All day, yeah, that's the, the line of the ah. Oh, I see, yeah, you can see. Oh, I, I assume that once you cut it, they'd all fall out, but they actually yeah. come out as a whole sheet. Yeah, and, and then, then you have to remove them here. So right. We have the guys right. here to remove them. And then they're doing quality control as they go. And everything. Wow. That's a big piece, isn't it? So you're almost making like a kit form slurry tanker, aren't you? That's, that's a bit like an airfix model. We, yeah, we try to. I suppose, assemble all the parts like, like uh, a Lego piece. Yeah, I love it.
better than Axel, isn't it? Yeah, it's good, yeah, it's good it's place It's quite work. a nice place to work. I'm just impressed walking now. Yeah, it's good, yeah. Fair play. Sorry, we're, just, we're interrupting your work. Yeah, no, no. So that's our... That's, uh, this is our barrels being formed. Yeah. And the barrels will move over here and we'll put in our... We'll, we'll um, process our dish ends and assemble them into it at either side. Nice. And then we'll move the whole lot up to our robotic welder, which is, we have at the other side of the, the wall here. But over here, I suppose this is where all our um, tubular box section and, and round, uh, round tubular section as well is processed. Right. And cut. We have saws down there. Yeah. And we have small digi-bend devices over there yeah. that process and bend small material. Okay. material. And then we have our press brakes over here to do all the, the folding of our main material. Here, then. These are all the tankers, well, are they? The cylinders all ready to go in, ready to go into the robotic welding. Oh uh, right, so, they, so these are, are these ones that have been done or are these, these ones? Been, these have been done. These have been robotic, robotic welded? Yeah, robotic welded. Wow. Right. So why is it done with robots? Is that because it's uh, such a big, big job? Yeah, yeah. And it's the same job all the yeah, time? Exactly. You can it's program it? Right, right. Yeah. let's have a look then. So, so this is robotic welding. This is very interesting, isn't it? Look at that seam all the way around there. I mean, it, it totally relies on perfection because you don't want that burnt off. So we can see the robotic welder over there. So, I mean, it's a, it's a nice mixture here, automation, but also uh, robots, let's have a look. There's the robotic welder at work. It's like something out of the Terminator. Oh, they've left me. <laughs> they've left me. I just get into this place. I could spend days here, I think. Oh, we're on the spray shop. Oh, look, there's the undercarriages. Wow, look at that. It's nice to see it in the raw, you know? It's nice to yeah. see it not painted and just done. 
the work involved. You see all these are the bits that were cut out by the laser cutter, and then you see the how it works. They fit it in there. The axles apparently they're the bits they buy in. Can't make everything in house. But now you can see how it's all going together like a kit. Put the pieces in, weld it up. Wow, it's re really nice. See where the axle is up into the chassis. Hey? You see where the axle is up into the chassis? Yeah. It's in line with the chassis you get the I know, so, I mean, the weld quality is a bit better than my welding, Nick. Absolutely. I don't think I'd get a job here. Yeah, I mean, you never know. After 10 years, you'll be okay, like. He hasn't seen my welding, has he? Yes. Anyone who watch, you know, people who watch my YouTube videos, they know yeah. what my welding yeah, is right, like. Cool yeah. it's like, flat. It's a bit less of it. It's bad, yeah, it's bad. Yeah. So this is where you come for a nice quality weld. And it is, it is, you can see the seam on there, look. Lovely. Moving on. Oh, there's a bit more work there. This is one that's not been made yet. So the guy's just started. There's one, here's one finished, so we're only waiting for those bits to go on, and this guy's putting it together. Bit doing? So this is our this is the first rob, robot we put in. Yeah. So now it's starting to set up. It's a mudguard of a tank that's in there right. at the moment. Oh, okay. So it's starting to set up and it's telling the, the robot that where the location of the mudguard and all the wells are. Right. Um, it's a pre programmed Oh yeah. It's a pre -bro it's pre programmed, but like in order for it to do a proper weld it does it just has to get the exact point of the joint. Right. So that's what it's doing at the moment. Okay. That takes roughly about Five, seven, ten minutes, and once it's finished, then it'll, it'll weld all the seams around on, on, on the robot. Well, I'm interested, you might not be able to answer this, but what percentage of the welding on, say, a slurry tanker is done by a robot, and what percentage is done by people? 50%, 20%? That's say, a difficult I'd question, isn't at it? at the moment, I see it's a hard one to answer, because yeah. I suppose here, this has been installed two years, um, but the robot over there we installed in the last year. Right. So, um, I suppose, you could say, you're talking over, maybe over 30, 40% of the robot. It's done by robot welding. Yeah. Considering this robot over here. Right. That's impressive. Well, that's a bit bright. I'll step away from that. We got robot welding, a bit like a car plant, I guess. If, the, if, if you have a car plant, they have robots doing some of the welding and scenes, but you still need people to do the work. And here it is. Here's one we did earlier, as they say. That was good timing, wasn't it? The robot welder on there. It's still hot, isn't it? I can it. I'm yeah, just not going to put my fingers on that. Put the sausage on there. Yeah, I right. would. Right. Try it for you, isn't it? So here on base. Our barrels are pressed on this side, wow. and once they're pressed and packed together, it moves the top then onto our, our manipulator here, where um, it sticks to a jig, and you can rotate the, the top to the right or the left. So our aim, our aim here is just to make sure that all our welds are on the flat. Mm. Um, it's a nice, clean, precise yeah. weld. Um, then one uncomplete what we do is we take our chassis out here, and our here. So this is all the diet feeders we saw outside earlier, which is yeah. top filling with a loader. So they would tip in the top and the feeder would mix it up and then it would send it out. Some of it would weigh it. I mean, we did see a bit of that when we were just doing the talk. And uh, some of it is being weighed. There's all sorts of things, they get analysis they can do on it. I haven't got one of those yet. Which one are you after, Ian? Which one do you want to take home? Is it the feeder or the slurry tanker or the muck spreader? Muck spreader. Muck spreader. Uh, much better. Right. Maybe a topper. All right, you take the muck spreader home, I'll take home the slurry tanker. All right, well, you've got, you got a slurry pit. I haven't got one. Yeah. You've got a nice new slurry uh, pit. So I don't talk about the slurry pit. Got a very big slurry pit. <laughs> we don't talk about the slurry pit. I don't like my slurry pit. <laughs> We've just been in the bit where they were putting the uh, feeders together, and we're now in the sort of finishing bit where they, I think they're just priming up the 
the tankers look. Look at this. So they're in the raw here, but they're nearly complete. And they've just got sort of random tires that they use to push them around the factory in. This guy, I don't know whether he's airbrushing or what he's doing, stop blasting it, ready for painting. Right. I suppose what happens here is our, our machines go through our blast booth. I thought they were blasting, yeah. yeah. And then they're sandblasted and they come in here for prep okay. prior, prior to painting. And then you, are you paint shop up here, is it? Yeah, so this is our... So here's our paint booth here. Yeah. At the moment it's actually on a, it's on a bake site. So 79 degrees bakes the paint? Yeah, yeah. it's inside. Um, it, helps, it helps start the, the, the final process of the yeah. paint. So we have two processes. We have prime, we, we, we prime it in to, to begin with. And then there's a flash off cycle. And then we top coat. And after the top coat, top coat then there's uh, about a 40 minute bake. Right. 80 degrees. Wow. 40 minutes at 80 degrees. Yeah. I mean, uh, the paint is, uh, it's always like an enamel, isn't it? Yeah. So Very when it comes out of this side, then I suppose we don't go near it. We don't go and, and work on the machine for maybe up to six, eight, six, really? eight hours afterwards. Let it so they really, really go. So, it, so is that sort of yellowy, whitey colour? That's the primer, is it? Yeah, so that's the primer. So what you're seeing there is yeah. an ogre. That's inside yeah. the machine right. of the feeder. So that process is all the silage and stuff. Yeah. So the paint on uh, the primer and that will come out. Yeah, of course. It's, it's working. Yeah, the always. The yeah. But then where you have uh, your black and orange and galvanized, that's the outside right. of the machine. So what you're seeing there is the paint for protection and corrosion. You can see the lovely muck brother there, nice orange. Yeah. Very good colour choice, isn't it? Because it's very your colour stands out. If you're in the field, you've yeah. got an orange. Everyone knows, you, you everyone knows Abby for their oranges, don't they? Yeah, is you, there a is there a name for the shade of orange? No, uh, There's a question for you. I bet you didn't. I, I'm trying I've to find a question you don't know. <laughs> I'm sure that there must be a, na a shade that that name uh, for that name of orange. Yeah, I a name know. for that shade it's of orange. Abby orange. Abby orange. There you go, mate. Awesome. <laughs> Abby orange. We all love a bit of Abbey Orange. I've got some Abbey Orange on the farm. The you, know, you only see them like you only see them like that when they're brand new, don't you? Because they're all yeah. otherwise they're all shiny with all the paint off. You know, I bought a mower this year and already the paint's off the bottom, and it's sad because I like it. I like it all with fresh paint. <laughs> not an Abbey mower, mine. Yes, I'm, not, I'm looking at the wheel here. I think that's. <laughs> I, I think that's a special. Look at that. That's the sort of thing you'd have on a pub wall. That's the sort of thing on a pub wall. Look at that. That is a big muck spreader, isn't it? That is a big capacity. And this is the bed for it, look. There's the bed for the muck spreader. The chain, I better not touch it, it might be wet. Wow, look. So what we've got here really we're in, the, we're in the final stages. This is obviously assembly hall, um, and you can see down here the galvanizing's not done in house. They send off the galvanizer, you think so. Uh, and you recognize these bits off the back of a slurry tanker. That's a big slurry tanker, and if I could have whipped for that. And there's more of it here. You know, nice to see. Uh, well, I kind of hope you like this video because it is a start to finish on reduction of agricultural machinery and, and I have to say I'm very privileged to have access to this. Ian sorted this out. Um, fair play to uh, Abby for letting us in to see this. I'm not paid by Abby by the way, this is not a paid promotion, this is generally, we're over in Ireland and they're in, they just said yeah come and have a look, which is really kind of a, you know. Right, right. we cool. are in. What would you call this guys? Is this? This is the final this assembly. Is final assembly. The final assembly. So is this oh, where yeah. you kind of do the kind of checks and all the kind of? Well, I suppose no. It's where all the painted parts will come. Right. Whether, um, oh, so what we saw in there, you're yeah, bringing in here to put and, together. Um, we'll assemble all the wheels and right. the, the, like I suppose the, the, we've galvanised mug guards coming back mm. from our galvanising plant. So we'll assemble that to the tanks and we'll assemble the, the pumps and Perfect. hydraulic hosing right. and wiring and get the tanks up and so going. It's quite a process. It's sure. a hell of a process. Really. It is, From yeah. the start with a little piece of steel. Yeah. To, well, to well, well, say a little piece. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the pieces are small though, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> so we got a feeder in here. Look at this. 75 years of Abbey. 1947. And then we come 
Look at the size of that. That's a big bad boy, isn't it? Wow. I've wrecked you now, 76 years. 76 years? My mass is rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> but, there we go. Yeah, so this is a, this is a, it's so a, a small tanker. One. This yeah. is the small. So this is one of the smaller tankers. So say, we've got the a small one that you saw on the far side. Mm. Um, this is exactly the same, similar tanker to what Well, we've got one like that, but smaller than that. Oh, really? Yeah, a baby one. Um, we haven't got a very big farm, but... Um, I mean, I haven't got a tractor big enough to pull that. Obviously, the bigger you make... The, I mean, in the time that Abby have been making machinery, the scale and size of things has got massive, hasn't oh, yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Well, even, even in the last 10 years, yeah. the scale and mass of, of machines have just gotten bigger and bigger. Like, it's know? incredible, isn't it? I mean, the herds and everything got bigger, so the slurry issue's a lot bigger and everything. Yeah. And same with the feeder. I just saw the feeder outside. You know, that's not a feeder for a farm like ours, cause, no. but that's for a big, big Well, herd. I suppose, yeah, you go back 10, 15 years, you know, you're... you're Average farmer tractor would have been 100, 120 yeah. horsepower, but it's not abnormal no, now to see right. 150, 160 horsepower definitely. tractor on a farm. Yeah. So, like, you know, definitely the scale of things happen. Amazing, isn't it? Harry would like 150, 160. Harry, my son Harry is so upset he couldn't come this week. He's, he's 12, but he's so into his machinery and stuff. He's going to love this. We've yeah, got to yeah we go and steal a toy. Yeah, if you've got any <laughs> Abbey, Abbey <laughs> bits for my son, course. that would be. He's got, he, he will be here. I, I told him when he's, because he can't leave school, you see, because the trouble is to take four days out. Yeah. When he's 16, I promised him I'll bring him to the plowing when he leaves school. Cause he won't. Well, he's lucky he didn't get the, to this year, you know. Well, I told him that, because he'd be paddling, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't care. He wouldn't care. It's his, it's his dream. Look at it. Oh, it's quite peaceful in here compared with the other place, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is one of our bigger times. Look at the size of that. Room, so. Is yeah. that the biggest one you do? No. No? It's not actually. Like we me, have, look at it. Have, um, Do I get closer sizes. to that? It blocks out the sun. Yeah, no, we have two sizes bigger than that. Gosh, your reflection on that as you're driving up a hill and the sun's shining on, the, on it. I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's impressive, isn't it? And um, you'd know it's Abby from the distance as well. Yeah, but just a bit. I mean, look, what sort of size tractor are you going to need? We're talking about bigger tractors. You need a big tractor to pull that loaded, don't you? You would. Uh, you know, the top. weight on that. I, mean, I, let, I, let, I let the salesman take Sales manager. 100, 180, 200 or so. Yeah. Depending on where you are. Like, if really, you've got yeah, a full was, load on that, yeah, that's some exactly. weight, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's stopping it as well, though. Yeah. You know. That's Yeah. Look at that. It's just incredible. Big of a beast, isn't it? Robot welding. Wow. Wow. Nice to see them when they're not dirty as well, isn't it? You know, brand new. Wow. Just if you're wondering with the wheels, it doesn't go on those wheels. I know, I just, machine, just pushing them around the factory, This machine's actually being prepped for export. Right. So um, what we'll do is it's, it's, it'll be loaded into a container when it's exported. Mm. So we have to reduce the width and take off all the implements okay, off. Okay, and, and then reassemble at the other end. And it'll be reassembled at the other end. Right, fair play. So we're back to where we, so this is, we've seen all the way through the uh, whole production and here we are. This yeah. is like your lineup, isn't it, really? Yeah. Top window, isn't it? Looks lovely, isn't it? So I suppose, there we have a demo model. What, the one that, yeah. And so that's a model that we send out and demo okay. to, to our customers to see how they, how they feel about the Abbey machine. Um, and then the rest are all new models yeah. ready for shipping. So do you sell a lot of galvanized ones? I know it's the galvanized there. I mean, obviously from a farming point of view, that means it's going to last a lot longer. Yeah. But is that quite an expensive extra and do a lot of people buy those? Um, yeah, well, I suppose, I suppose around 30% of our machines will be galvanized. Really? Wow. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. Um, and um, well, it, it does have an additional cost. Yeah, sure. On it, but like, yeah. Yeah, I, I and, always the, and it varies from machine to machine. Yeah. It's not like a, a, a But if you're thinking long term, you know, galvanized way to go really, I think. Yeah, yeah. We've got some sheds that are galvanized. There you go, right. Gentlemen, thank oh, you, you very much. Them. It's expensive, yeah. but two and a half thousand quid to galvanize. Yeah, yeah, but then it never rust. Right, anyway, thank you. Well, the idea that that long. Thank, thank you, mate. You Appreciate yeah. your time Lovely on this. Yeah. You'll be in the edit. I'll make you look. I'll make you look about twenty-five and ripped. Uh, Hugh Jackman. That's me. Right. Okay. Cheers, everyone. Back to the hotel. Crack on. Whew. It's gonna be a tiring trip. So I'm back from Abbey. 
fantastic there there was really good to see around the factory there we're on the abbey stand tomorrow uh we'll just come back to the hotel to catch a breath and we're going out we're meeting some of the abbey guys tonight we're going to have dinner with them uh and also i'm going to try my first pint of guinness uh and i've made the provision that my first pint of guinness has got to be in a proper irish pub i don't want it in a hotel bar i want it to be if i'm in ireland i've got a pint of guinness uh in the right place really uh, tomorrow I'm, we're off to the Abbey stand. Um, I got a kind of inkling there's going to be a few people turned up because uh, the people at Abbey said that uh, there's already been people come and say, oh, we're here today. Uh, wrong day, sorry. Um, so we're going to be there Thursday morning between about 11 and 1, I think. It's sort of random. I don't know, really not sure what to expect. Um, there's a couple of people, that are, well, it's, it's interesting coming to Ireland. It kind of um we seem to have reached out to a few people in ireland really uh and looking back when i was ill do you remember i had um, the problem with my heart um got a lot of messages from people from ireland you know i can't, don't want to single out too many people really because there was a lot of good wishes from a lot of people but there was a lady called chantelle who who kept messaging me and the main one really is tomorrow there's this chap called adrian who uh when I came out of hospital, he was really good. He sent me uh, some little video clips every day for about a week, kind of like boosting my spirits really and talking about his situation. Um, so I'm hoping to catch up with him because he is actually at the plowing tomorrow. Um, so I do hope I meet him and just sort of say thank you because, you know, it was really appreciated his time on that. Um, and really, we're just looking forward to meeting a few people there, chatting. <laughs> I like chatting anyway. <laughs> So we'll have a bit banter, but we're off out now um, to see what a bit of the town's like around where we're staying, around the Abbey Hotel. And then uh, I'm going to try this pint of Guinness. I'm going to just do a little video on that. I'm not going to video everything because, you know, we've, it's been a long day. I don't want to make this a whole video tour of every bit we do. So we're just going to, I just want to video the taste of Guinness in a, a proper pub. Right, let's crack on. Right, we're out. Figure it is. Joins up with all this apparently and Powell Brothers here. We are going in for a Guinness, look. For a Guinness. I'm back on it. Proper pint of Irish. I've got to thank, I've got to thank Karen for sending me some money to buy me a pint of uh, proper Guinness in Ireland. So we're going to go in. Proper, proper Irish pub. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh, we're in. We've just been chatting. We're gonna have to try and Guinness. I'm excited. Look at this. Look at this fantastic oh, pub. This is. There's the owner there. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Look at that. Lovely little snug. So, so this this is how I'm finishing my night. You can get the Guinness in. Proper job. Oh, look at those beauties. Hey. All three of them yours. <laughs> Who's going first? Should we get on a little table? We've got to, or we drinking them here? Let me put that down. This, this is a moment I've waited all my life for to drink a pint of Guinness actually in Ireland rather than in a British pub. So good health to you, gentlemen. Yes, cheers. Good health to the Irish and all the Irish farmers. And we're going to try this now. This is the end of today's video. Mm. I left my camera home. Crack on. Proper job. Right. See you tomorrow. Part two tomorrow.